Alright, so I didn't mean. <laughs> look, look, look. I didn't know you were starting. You put your finger up when you finish starting. Alright, hold on. No, we did. We can uh, crop it out at the beginning. Alright, so, right, hold right. on. You let me know. You uh, started or is it on? Yeah, it's already started. Oh, um. Alright. Alright, well. <laughs> Alright, shot one, shot one. And we out here at Albany State University, man. Out here letting our people know um, that we gotta repent and come back to the Most High God in these last days. Destruction coming to America. Famine's coming, pestilence coming. We kind of sound like a broken record out here. You know, we say the same thing all the time, and it may seem like, you know, y'all y'all keep saying the same thing, but we don't see nothing happening. Nope. But it's going to happen, right? How you doing, sis? You got two. You believe in the Bible? I do. You got two minutes. I don't know. Okay, can you can we read you one scripture? Okay. All right. Well, give me the book of um Deuteronomy ten and twelve. Let me give you one scripture real quick before you fly. Now what we out here doing is we out here um, basically prophesying to our people. We out here to let our people know that we got um, that pestilence, is famine, and tribulation is coming to this world because a lot of our people don't know these things. Mm -hmm. A lot of our people think everything going smooth because they're not watching the news. They're not really trying to see what's going on. But we out here to be as we watchmen. So we out here to watch these things, see what's going on, and come and warn the people. Kind of like news reporter, but mm -hmm. we take we um we matching the news of the Bible. Uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12 And now Israel What doth the Lord thy God require of thee So we are technically If you read the Bible And we'll be technically Israelites Because we're not black Because my jacket black And we're not African American Because those are two continents And those names are two white men Leo Scipio Africanus And Amerigo Vespucci So we can't be Our name after two white men And we can't be Negroes We can't be colored So we got to be So we got to come from somebody We have to have some type of nationality but we'll be the Israelites according to the Bible, and we're going to see what God require of us. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. So he required us to walk in his ways and to love him. See, love is an action word. See, a lot, a lot of people get, a lot of people go around and say, I love you, I love you. But if you don't show that, they're not going to truly believe you. If you keep beating on them, but you're saying, I love you, you keep they keep stealing from you, but they're saying, I love you, you're not going to believe that. So with God, he requires action to show that we love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Mm -hmm. To keep the commandments of the Lord and statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. So he required us to keep his commandments. This is what he required of us. We got laws and commandments to keep. Just like how America got laws, certain stuff you can do here and certain stuff you can't. You got to stop at the red light. You got to stop at the stop sign. You have to wear your seatbelt. America got laws. God got laws with his chosen people. Did you know God had a chosen people? Let me get that real. Deuteronomy 76. I told you one scripture, but let me get this one. Let me get show you that God got a chosen people. I'm gonna give you this card too, sis. So you can definitely I already got one. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Deuteronomy 76. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right, so the God, the creator that created the heavens, the earth, everything. He got say chosen people. His chosen people are the Israelites. Now America would tell you that everybody's equal, everybody the same, but that's not true. Even when you look into genetics, we're just naturally stronger and naturally faster and smarter than any other race. And that's because we're God's chosen people. And that's why we're the best cooks, the best musicians, the best dancers, the best dressers, the best athletes. We invented everything here. So we built this country because we're a God's chosen people. So that when you have time, since our YouTube is on that card, mm -hmm. definitely check it out. I'll definitely check, uh, God bless you. God bless you too. Please get that out, please. Romans 11 verse one. Bring it out. I say then, have God cast away his people? Has God cast away his people? God forbid. You said what? God, God forbid. forbid. You have a lot of people say the most high God cast away his people. How you doing, sis? How you doing, sis? Hey, a lot of people will say God cast away his people, but a lot of people, a lot of our people don't understand. I'm gonna come back to what I was just saying. A lot of people don't understand that they actually ignoring God. They're not ignoring us. They think, oh, I ain't finna go talk to them niggas over there with Bibles. No, you ignoring the most high God, because we we he sent us out here for you. Right. So basically you're so check this out, right? The Lord gave uh, gave us invitations to basically to the kingdom of heaven. And we took it. We, we started opening up the Bible. We started eating the Bible up. You know, we started getting uh, understanding, started keeping these commandments. We accepted our invitation. 
he's trying to pass his invitation out to more of our people, but they're they're not they're not taking it. They throwing the invitation in, in the trash can, right? They they missing out they they missing out on their spot for the kingdom of heaven. But the Bible just said he never cast away Israel because you have a lot of people say Israel no more remembering, right? The, um, uh, Jesus died and now there's no difference between Jew and Greek. Now Israel don't matter no more. Right. right? It's all people now. Everybody. It's not Israel no more. Israel blind out. It just said in Romans, Paul just said that he never cast away his people. Jump down to uh, Romans uh, 11 and 26. Because Paul was speaking about the Israelites in Romans 11. He said all Israel shall be saved. So he's still speaking about Israel in the New Testament. So how is Israel cast away and not the people no more? Oh. How you doing, sis? You talked to me before? Yeah. Okay, okay. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. Romans 11, verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. He said what? And so all Israel, Israel shall, shall be, be saved. saved. So this is how you know, see, a lot of a lot of uh, Christians, they like to go to Romans 11 mm -hmm. and say, uh, he's speaking to the, the, uh, the Gentiles, right? Which he is, he was sent to the Gentiles. But a lot of people don't understand that Israel was called Gentiles in the Bible. Give me um 1 Corinthians 12 and 2 and I'm going to come back to Romans. See what yeah, I'm saying? I was just about to go there. So, because why would Paul say in Romans 11 and 26, all Israel shall be saved? Why would he even bring up Israel if he's talking to blood lying Gentile like heathens? He's speaking, about, he's speaking to Israelites that were called Gentiles because they was in Gentile states of mind. That's right. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 2. <laughs> nice. I like it. Thank you. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 2. Ye know that she were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb, dumb idols. idols. So Paul said, hey, y'all, y'all, it's 1 Corinthians. He supposed to be writing to the uh, Gentiles in Corinth. He was like, ye know that ye were Gentiles. Now, heathens, they were always called Gentiles throughout the Bible. A heathen going to always be a Gentile. A heathen can't no more not be a Gentile. So what is, he, what is he talking about when he's saying that ye were Gentiles? He's speaking to these Israelites that were in Gentiles. Because you got to think about it. When you're going through numerous of captivities, you start living like the heathens. Yes, just like how a lot, of, a lot of our people out here are Gentiles. They're in the Gentile state of mind. They celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. They celebrate Easter. You know what I'm saying? They eat pork. They're breaking the Sabbath day. So Paul would be writing to these people out here and talking to these people the same way we doing. Um, and for, yes, I know. Precept. Bring it up. Ecclesiastes 4, verse 16. There is no end of all the people, even of all that have been before them. Right, so the Lord is not finna exterminate Israel. Israel gonna be on the, Israel not finna be exterminated. Because we're gonna have to rule this kingdom, man. This kingdom to come. We're gonna have to rule this new world to come. So why would he exterminate the chosen people? Right. It don't make sense. Now, for the proof that these Israelites, y'all got two minutes for the word, sis? All right, hey, destruction coming to America, right? World War III is on the rise. If we don't repent, we're going to die, That's right. right? Give me Romans 9 to 25. This for the this, this more for the proof that these Romans are Israelites. This, Romans 9 to 25 through 27, really the icing on the cake to show you that Paul is not speaking to actual Gentiles. He's speaking to Israel in a Gentile state of mind. That's right. Romans 9 to 25. As he saith, also O.C., I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. So Paul said, as, as they said in O.C., O.C. is the, that's Hosea. So he's quoting, he's quoting something out of Hosea. He said, as it said in Hosea, I will call them my people, which are not my people. So a lot of people read that and see, and they'll say, see, this is talking about the heathens and other nations because they were never called God people. So he must be talking to them. But now we have to go to Hosea and see what Paul was quoting from because he's quoting from the Old Testament, like the brothers say all the time. They, they, uh, they was reading from the Old Testament. It wasn't no New Testament written. So if these, if these prophets said something, they, somebody else had to say it before them in the Old Testament. It was prophets before them. So we're going to go to Hosea and see who was Paul talking about. I mean, who was Hosea talking about? And Paul got that from him. Hosea 1 and 10. Con the book of Hosea 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Then shall the children of Judah 
and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head and they shall come up out of the land for great shall be the day of Jezreel. So that show, so that's what Paul was quoting in, in Romans 9 and 25 and through 27. He was quoting, uh, he was saying how when he said, I'm gonna call to my people, which were not my people, He's talking about bringing Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom back to the fold because uh, see a lot of people don't read the Old Testament. They miss out on a whole bunch of history. They don't know the split between Southern Kingdom and Northern Kingdom. Right. They don't know, but the, they don't know the splits between the kingdoms. So when they just reading Paul letters, they thinking when they see Gentiles that he's talking about the heathen, but they don't know that Northern Kingdom, give me Hosea 4 and 17. It was to the point where Ephraim, right? Which was the head of the Northern Kingdom, they were so deep into idolatry, then the Lord just said, leave them alone. Don't even deal with them no more. Don't even, don't even look at them as our people no more. Hosea 4 and 11. 4 and 17. 4 and 17. Hello. Since you got two minutes, you believe in the Bible? Yeah. Okay, all praise. We'll come back to it. So, all right. What's your nationality? What, you, what, what have you been taught your nationality is? Or your race, basically. Black, right? Now, are you the color of your tights? No. You see what I'm saying? I had to question this too. Why we call ourselves black? You see what I'm saying? What about African Americans? Are we African American? Uh, yeah. You think so? So, when you look to the word African American, those names come from two white men Leo Scipio Africanus and Amerigo. I said, I have a hard Best time. Yeah, yeah him. The, they, they, Cause they conquered those lands and they, they named those lands after they named. Right. So we're not African American. And also that term came from Jesse Jackson in 1987. He the one that gave us the term African American. So we showing you sis, we finna show you according to the Bible that you would be an Israelite. You ever heard of the Israelites before? Yeah. We are these people that God loved dearly. We are these people that the Bible talks about as being the chosen people of God, the real Jews according to the Bible. We are these same exact people, although it may not look like it because we're in the hoods, we're in the projects, we're in the ghettos, we killing each other, our men sagging their pants down right here, our women just in half naked. So it may seem like the niggas, they God's chosen people. But the reason why we living like this is because it's a curse on us. And I'm gonna show you, give me uh, 20 to 15. Come on, the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So basically, the, 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 what the Most High God is saying is, our forefathers made a covenant with God. There was, he was like, if y'all keep my commandments, y'all gonna get blessings. And you can read these, if you read Deuteronomy 28, you will see the blessings that we were supposed to get. But then he said, here's, a, here's, a, here's another side of the coin. If you don't keep the commandment, you're gonna be cursed. So when you read the Bible, our forefathers didn't keep the commandment. So we're getting cursed and punished for what they did. So let me read to you a few of these curses to show you that this Bible is talking about you, me, him, 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 our people, we the Israelites. Give me 16. Verse 16 from the top. Curse shall thou be in the city and curse shall thou be in the field. So the Bible said the Israelites, we gonna be cursed in the city, I mean in the city. That's right. So what what people would you say um, live the poorest in any city you go to? They're in the projects, they're in the ghettos. Probably black people. It's black people. We literally been cursed through, all throughout history. Black Wall Street, we tried to build a, a black community for our people. They bummed it down. You had the MOVE movement in 19, I think 1982, somewhere around there, it was a movement called the MOVE movement in Philadelphia. They would basically start a movement to protect the community. And the police bombed their community down. So, and that was, on, that was in 1980 something. That wasn't that long ago. So we the ones that's cursed in the city. We always going through something in the city. What do you say after that? And curse shall thou be in the field. So the Bible said we're gonna be cursed in the fields too. So what people, what people was, was cursed in the fields? Black people. This is why we was picking cotton. This is why you got movies like 12 Years of Slave, uh, Django, um, uh, Good by Uncle Tom. You got movies like this because we disobeyed God. This is why we went through slavery and still in slavery to this day. 
Give me uh, give me um, forty eight. Forty eight. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So this is another curse that was going to happen to our people. The Bible said we were going to have to serve our enemies in hunger, thirst, nakedness, and everything you want. It's a curse to have to pay for water. It's a curse to have to pay a water bill. It's a curse to go to the store and buy fruit that's naturally here. Why do we have to pay for water? That's a, give me Lamentation 5. That's a curse. We're not supposed to be living like this or uh, living paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. Our parents got to work three or four jobs and it's still ain't enough. We, we're not supposed to be living like this. But the, but the reason why we is because we didn't keep God's commandments and we're getting punished right now. You want five and seven? Uh, yeah. Lamentations five and seven. Our fathers have sinned and are not. And we have borne their iniquity. Matter of fact, started, I wanted that uh, Lamentations 5 and 3 when it said we drunk and we drunk and I. 3, 5 and 4. Five and four. Okay. Yeah. Lamentations 5, verse 4. We have drunken our water for money. Yeah, did what? We have drunken our water for money. So the Bible said we drunk our. They, this is during the time of Lamentations. Jeremiah, he wrote this. Right. He said, man. We drinking water for money. That's madness. I've never seen that before. We now we doing this now in America. We drinking water for money. You literally gotta, if you want some water, you have to pay for it. Right. They was doing that back then. What he said to that? We have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. So we have to pay for wood. If you want to build a house and get stuff for a house, you have to go to Home Depot to get some wood. It don't, these are natural things that the most high God created to be free. Not for us to uh, have to pay for it. But we're doing this because we didn't listen to God, sis. Give me, uh, give me 68. Con, the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. You're going to do what? With ships. Oh, the Lord shall bring thee into, into Egypt, Egypt again, again with, with ships. ships. So this was another curse. The Bible said he going to bring us in Egypt or another word for Egypt. Is bondage, he gonna bring us into bondage or slavery again with ships. Now since how we got how did how did majority what transportation did a lot of us get over here to America by? Ships. By ships. And the Bible said this was gonna happen before it even happened. This right. was written like thousands of years before this we even got over here to America. That's right. So this is also proof that this Bible is real and it's talking about you and our forefathers. So we'll be the Israelites according to the Bible, sis. You know, we ain't black, we ain't African American, but they want they don't want you to know that though. That your your identity is the biggest kept secret in the world. It ain't the, the biggest kept secret it ain't about oh the earth flat or round or by aliens, are they real or they not? The biggest kept secret is who you are. These folks spend billions of dollars, not millions, they spend billions of dollars to keep you sleep from not knowing who you is. All right. And that's how you know it's important, because they don't want you to know. Yep. Psalms. The book of Psalms 83, verse 3. I'm going to give you two more because it's like you got to go. I'm going to give you two yeah. more. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So this is going into, now this is this, this Bible is so cold. It say they took crafty counsel against his people. We are his people. Now the people that took crafty counsel against us are these other nations. The Chinese man, the African man, the white man, the East Indian man. They taking crafty counsel against our people. What happened? And consulted against thy hidden ones. Right. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Right. So they actually plot against our people. And these these folks actually study us. They know the things that we like. It's a, it's a it's a it's a YouTube video called How to Sell to the Negro. It's on YouTube. It's a white man or he like Italian man. And he going to how to sell to black people. So they study us. They literally know how to sell to us. Cause they, they, they behind, the, behind the scenes, when we sleep at night, they up. They can't go to sleep. They trying to figure out how can we keep them Israelites in sin? How can we stop them from knowing who they is? We got to destroy these Negroes and not allow them to wake up and come to their they true identity as being the Israelites. Keep going. Was it more on that? Yeah, it's more on it. For they have, con for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee right so they they are confederate against us so these other nations they come 
they uh they they be in this big building but around this round table and they plot on how to keep you sleep sis so i'm gonna get this last one give me do me 10 and 12 because it's very important for us to know who he is because christ coming back real soon all right. He's coming back to save his people, but he also come back to destroy. All right. We want to make sure we're on the side of being saved out of here. That's right. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and, and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So the Lord require of us, sis, he require us to keep the commandments, right? So when you are YouTube on that card, check us out. We be getting into the commandments on our page and just get into things that God want us to do and things that he, that he don't want us to do. You know, so you have any questions? All right, no, I got any questions. All right, you gonna check us out? Yeah. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. All praise to you. You're Israelite according to the Bible. All praise to the Most High, man. All praise to the Most High. Uh, give me that, uh, matter of fact, give me, um, you can get Ezekiel 37 and 9. Matter of fact, we get Ezekiel 16 and 59 through 60. Hey, oh. I'm gonna use the math and I'll put it in the end. Con, the book of Ezekiel 16, verse 59. For thus saith the Lord God, I will even deal with thee as thou hast done, which hath which has despised the oath in breaking the covenant. He said what? This, the, which have despised the oath in breaking the covenant. Right, so the reason why we was getting punished because we broke the covenant. We didn't keep the commandments of God. And it's nothing changed. You have people say, well, now Christ died, so now you don't have to keep the commandments no more. You don't have to, they done away with. That's what a lot of people say, the commandments are done away with. You don't have to What's keep those. The church That's what the church say. Cause they bring this up. What's that priest? Like, you know, uh, the, uh, the two commandments. I know that's the. Um, oh, uh, I know. Sure. Uh, the, uh, these are the two great commandments. Yeah. I'm finna, sh I'm finna bring it up. Cause they, they bring up the two. We only got to We only got to keep two commandments now. The oh, love, love thy neighbor. No, that's a. And, and no, love the Lord thy like God with all your heart. Like, 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 uh, uh, what that is? Uh, the two greatest commandments. Let me see. Is that Matthew. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew 22 and verse 36. So they see a lot of people. They say, "Well, we don't, we don't have to. We we can eat pork now because Christ said we only, we only got to keep two commandments now." So you so people under people are saying Christ is a liar because in Matthew 5 and 17 he said he didn't come to destroy the law, but now you are saying he came to destroy the law because we don't got to keep none of the laws no more, but only two now. So they saying people on people saying that Christ like was a liar. That's right. You got it. Con the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 36. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? So first off, the brother was asking him, what's the greatest commandment? The brother wasn't asking him what's the what's the only commandment you gotta keep. He asked him what's the, the greatest commandment. That's why Christ gave him these two. Keep going. Yeah, how was I said unto him? Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. With all thy heart. And with all thy soul. And with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So what Christ did was, Christ basically summed up the Ten Commandments or the law within these two things. He said, um, he said, you love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, and to love your neighbors, you love yourself. He said, those two commandments hang the whole law. So when you go to, when you go to uh, the Ten Commandments, when it says, you shall have no other God before me, that's loving the Lord thy God, because if you love the Lord with all your heart, and with all your soul, you won't have no other gods before him. If you, uh, you, uh, he said, you shall not make no idols. If you love the Lord thy God with all your heart and your soul, you won't make no idols. He said, you shall not take the uh, name of the Lord your God in vain. If you love the Lord thy God with all your heart and your soul, you won't take his name in vain. It says, remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. If you love the Lord with all your heart, you will keep the Sabbath holy. It says, honor your father and your mother. 
if you if you uh, love if you love the Lord, you will honor your father and your mother. It says you shall not murder. Now, if you love your neighbor as you love yourself, you wouldn't kill him. It says you should not commit adultery. If you love your neighbor as yourself, you wouldn't commit adultery with him. It says you should not steal, bear false witness, nor covet. You wouldn't do none of these things if you love your neighbor as yourself. And that's all what Christ was saying. He summed up the whole law with those two commandments. But people say, well, uh, you only got to keep two commandments now. He just summed it up like he just said. Those hang the whole law. So it don't make sense. But going back to, I'm going to backtrack. I'm going to get this 1 Corinthians chapter 10 going back to prove that these Gentiles were actually Israelites that didn't know who they were. Because Paul makes it very, see, when you, when you read Paul's letters, Peter said Paul's letters can be hard to understand. Because it is. But when you really just read what he say, you know these people are his people. He called them brethren. brethren. His brethren are the Israelites when you get into Romans chapter 9 and verse 3 through 4. He said, my brethren who are Israelites according to the flesh. So Paul's brothers are Israelites. Look at that first Corinthians 10. Okay. 10. 10 uh, you can start that one. Okay. So he's speaking to the people. He's speaking to the church in Corinth. Now these are supposed to be, as Christians say, these are like actual Gentiles. But let's see what he says. All right. The book of 1 Corinthians 10 verse 1. Oh, hold on. Let me see if you can get that up. Okay. Hey, sister. Y'all got two minutes for the Lord? Why not talk two or more? Yeah, you can't never get enough of God. Two. I can't give you one scripture. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read out the Bible. Give me uh, give me um, Revelation 22 and 14. Let God be true and every man a liar. Let me give you right. 21, 21, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Revelation 22 and 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. He said what? Blessed are they that do his commandments. Right. So the Bible said we blessed. If we do his commandments, you have a lot of our people walking around saying they blessed. I feel blessed. I'm blessed. But the Bible said we blessed if we keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. If we ain't keeping his commandments, what, what, if we not, all right, so if the commandments make you blessed, what's up, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you good? Yeah, I'm good, sure. all, all praise, all praise. For sure, brother, for sure. Yes, sir. So if the, if the, if the Bible said the commandments, if keeping the commandments make you blessed, what are you if you don't keep the commandments? You yeah. curse. You know what I'm saying? It's simple. And they want, I couldn't even read them a scripture, but our people love God, though. Just like spit it off the dome. Spit it off the dome like that, I'm rapping or something, like that, I'm freestyling. What the hell does that mean? I'm talking about spit it off the dome. No, we, we're going to read this Bible. See, a lot of our people say they love God and love the Bible. When the Bible come up, they start running. They'd rather hear me speak. They'd rather hear my words instead of hear God's word. What that preacher? Uh, uh, how they don't want to hear smooth words. Itching ears. Itching ears, yeah. yeah. What's that itching ears? I think Isaiah 35. Isaiah 30? 30 or 35? That's Uh, I know what you're talking about. I know it was, it was another one that, um, the second Timothy four and three. Okay. It's another one too. You can get that one in. Isaiah thirty mm -hmm. and ten too. Okay. Second Timothy four verse three. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Right, man. So a lot of people not going to endure sound doctrine. Isaiah 30 and 10. Yeah, Isaiah 30 and 10. So a lot of people ain't going to do sound doctrine, man. They're going to hear the truth, go back to Christianity, go back to being a Muslim, going back to be a, a seven day Avenger. All right. You know that it's, you know, 30 and start at, let me start at eight. Start at eight. Isaiah 30, verse eight. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people. So the Lord, this is not the first time the, the Most High done said this. We gotta, we gotta be a rebellious people for him to mention this. Like, he mentioned, he always said we stiff neck, we rebellious, right. rebellious, we hard headed. But it's not the first time him saying this. That's how you know we talk, we seeing this. Every, we come out to the highways and byways to these streets, we seeing what God's saying. This Bible literally manifests before our eyes. When we come out here and we see how rebellious our people is. 
They only got two minutes for the Lord. They can't hear one scripture because they talking about they hungry. Right. They don't understand. We feeding you words of life. That's right. what's gonna feed you. That work, that food, gonna have you full for like two hours and you have to eat again. Yeah. This word gonna have you full. This, this word gonna yeah. fill you up forever. Now, in the book of Matthew four four. But he answered and said, Yahweh Shai, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Right, man. So the Bible said, hey, read that again. Man shall not live by what? Man shall not live by bread alone. So the Bible said, man shall not live by bread alone. A lot of our people think, I got to eat. I got to eat. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. That's not, that's not, you can't live by that alone. You filling your flesh up daily. That's why a lot of our people be in the flesh so much, man, because you feeding your flesh daily. Right. You ain't, you not feeding your spirit. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Right, man, but, but by every word, right? That's why Christ told the brothers, hey, come follow me. Follow me and I'll make you fish, uh, fishermen of men. Right. Right, because they, 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 they didn't know, but they came and followed Christ that was getting fed with this word. This word actually changed you, man. All right, so you can go back to Isaiah 30, um, 9, 10. Come. Isaiah 30, 9, 10. Isaiah 30, 9, 10. The book of Isaiah 30, verse 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. They will not what? That will not, not hear, hear the law of the Lord. Lord. Right, so the Bible said his children will not hear the laws of the Lord. When this Bible get brought up, when we actually read what this book say, a lot of people don't like what it say, and they right. run from it. They hit, they listen. When we saying, you know, you want a, ble a blessing coming your way, everything gonna be good. Uh, not, you know, you gonna get the kingdom of heaven. You saved already. They will listen to that. Right. But when it comes to, hey, if you don't repent, you gonna die. Destruction coming to America. Ah, uh, I don't want to hear that no more. I gotta go. You see what I'm saying? This Bible is real. They don't want to hear the laws and commandments. That's why they say it's done away with. You ain't gotta keep the laws no more. Right. They don't want to hear what this Bible say. Our people don't like change. They have a problem with change. When it's for the Lord, I, can't, I don't know if I can do it. Like, just like with the dress code, right? We tell our women to dress modest. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the Bible, I don't know if I can do it. Right. But, but let their job tell them you got yeah. to wear this. You got to cover that's up. That's a good point. They going to do it. Yeah. So, you tell, so, so the white man is your God, basically. Because right. if he tell you to cover up for this job, you're going to do it. But when it comes to God, ah, no, nah, I ain't finna do that. I ain't got time for that. Please, the mouse. Right. Hey, y'all got two minutes for the Lord? All right. Hey, we the Israel. Come on, see. Okay, see. Okay, see. All yeah, praise, praise to the most. All praise to the most. All praise. All right, so you how you doing, Sid? Yeah. Oh, we good. We good. So basically, what we out here doing is we out here teaching the, the, the truth of the Bible and out here to let our people know who we is according to the Bible. So what would be your race? What's your what's your race? What you call what what do this world call you? Would you be like African American or black? What they say? Black. Black, right? So black is a color out of crayon box. So we not really the color black. Because I my jacket black and my skin brown. So we get it called black and we calling ourselves black men, black women, black power. But God never called us that. He never called nobody African American. He never called nobody Negroes. So what did God call us? I'm gonna show you. Give me Deuteronomy one and one. Call the book of Deuteronomy, chapter one, verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To who? To all Israel. So Moses is speaking to the Israelites because the Israelites was in the wilderness with Moses receiving the commandments. So we will be the Israelites. Right. I'm gonna prove that. I'm not gonna just say with the Israelites without proving it. I'm gonna show you in this Bible. Number one, that this Bible is real. And number two, that it's talking about our people and that we're the chosen people of God. That's why we, give me seven and six real quick. Do the running. We're the chosen people of God. And they know that we chosen. That's why they hate us so much. We not, hate how we dress, hate how we, how, how we cook. They jealous and envious of us because they know that there's something special about us. Even when we're in captivity, we still somehow find a way to laugh. They wouldn't be able to do that. The white people, they, wasn't, they wouldn't be able to, if we being honest, if they went through 400 years of this in a cotton field, they would be extinct. They wouldn't have been able to endure the things that we endured. This is how we know that we're, we're God's people and that he still loves us, so he allowed us to endure all this. But keep going. 
Khan, the book of Deuteronomy 76. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right, so that the Bible basically saying that the God, the God that created the whole universe, he got say chosen people. Now, America would tell you everybody equal, everybody the same. But the Bible said that he got a chosen people that's above everybody else. And that would be us. We're that people. We're the people that's supposed to be ruling this earth right now. But let me show you what happened. Let me show you why we're not ruling this earth right now. Give me 28 and 15. Come the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So basically what happened was, our, our forefathers, our ancestors, we made a covenant with God, which was, he gave us the, the Ten Commandments and more commandments as well. He said, if you keep my commandments and obey me, you're going to be blessed. You're going to prosper. You're going to be on high. You're not going to have to worry about nothing. But if you disobey me and disobey my oath, because we made an oath with God. We made a promise to, the, to him that we were going to keep his commandments. He said, if you don't keep my commandments, you're going to be cursed. So you, you keep the commandments and be blessed. But if you don't, you're going to be cursed. Our forefathers, they didn't keep the commandments of God. We started doing whatever we wanted to do. We started, you know, we didn't care about God. So now we are, we are cursed right now. And I'm going to show you a few of these curses to show that we are the people that the Bible talk about. Give me 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So the first curse he said that was going to happen to us if we didn't listen, he said that we was going to be cursed in the cities. So if you look around, we in so-called 2024. If you look around in the cities and in the hoods, what people live the poorest in the hoods or in the cities, anywhere you go, what people live like the poorest? Black people, it's us. He said that we're going to be cursed in the city. This is why we're not living in the, the, the neighborhoods with all the big houses and stuff most of the time. Some of us is, but as a nation of people, a race of people, we at the bottom because we, are, we didn't listen to God. He putting a butt whooping on us right now. Get, keep going on that. Verse number 17. Yeah, no, keep going 16. Cursed shall I be in the home. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So another thing, he said we was going to be cursed in the field. So what, what people went through slave, what people was cursed in the fields? It's us. So think about it like this. If you have a child, right, and you tell your child to have them dishes washed before I get home, and you come home, the dishes ain't washed, but they in there watching TV. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? All right, just say, you just say, you tell your child, you you um, you at work, and you call them on the phone. Be like, I want my, I want that whole house cleaned up before I get home. And you, and you come home, nothing's cleaned up. What you gonna do to your child? You said what? They don't get in trouble, right? So when think about it, like we're God's children. We live right. His chosen people. All right. So He's basically punishing us for being disobedient because we was wicked. We even wicked to this day. We don't care. A lot of our people say they love God, but we really don't love God. Right. We do whatever we want to do. We don't read. We don't study. We don't talk to Him. So this is why we still getting punished right now. So He required us to come back come back to him before it before it's too late because this place finna be destroyed america finna be destroyed world war three is on the rise a lot of people are gonna die and we being honest we ain't trying to scare nobody but this is the truth a lot of people are gonna die because they don't have time for the lord right people they would rather do something else uh I, I gotta go eat i'm gonna go to the cab i, I gotta go to the party we are rather like we are rather go to a party than spend time with the lord that's why he's angry at our people. That's right. why he put us through slavery. It's why we're cursing the cities right now. Because we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Give me, um, let me, let me, ask, let me ask you a question real quick. Was you raised with a father? How many, how many people that look, like, that look like you that was not raised with a father? Your friends or people that you know? It's a lot of them, right? Now, I asked you that for a reason. I'm going to show you something in the Bible. Give me 54. First, oh, my fault. Verse 54, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. So now this is another curse that God said was going to happen to us. He said back then we was tender amongst each other. We loved each other as black men, so-called black men. 
we made sure each other was straight. It's laws in our Bible that if your brother wax poor, let him stay at your house. All right. But now the Bible said we're going to have an evil eye towards each other. All right. So what that sound like, sis? A, a, a man going to have an evil eye towards his brother. What is that called in today's time? When a, when a black man kill another black man. What that's called? Black on black. Black on black crime. All right. You got um, gang violence. We killing each other over blocks we don't even own. We don't own no houses or no nothing in them blocks that we claiming. We killing each other over colors. Oh, he wearing red. He wearing blue. He wearing purple. That's a curse. All right. God said that we're going to have an evil eye towards our brothers now. You, I know you see on Albany State sometimes, even our sisters as well. We hate on each other. We like crabs in a bucket. One of us get high, we trying to pull each other down. Right. My brother walked by with some nice shoes on. You got another brother walking past him hating on him. That nigga think he clean. That nigga think he got money. You willing to kill your brother because he got money. All right. Instead of trying to get money yourself, you want to rob him. You got an evil eye and look towards each other. We called, We was over here teaching the Bible. The brother was teaching. We asked the brother, you got two minutes. He got. He looking at us like he want to kill us. All we asking is you got two minutes for the Bible. But that goes back to that. We have an evil eye towards each other. Keep going on that. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. And who else? And toward the wife of his bosom. So not only is he going, not only is the, the uh, so-called black man going to have an evil eye towards his brother, he also going to have a wife. I'm mean, going to have an evil eye towards his wife. So this is why a lot of our um, relationships, so-called black men and black women, not all the time, but most of the time, it don't work out. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The man laying hands on the woman, they fighting each other. <laughs> All right. the, uh, the woman going and sleeping around his back. The man dang, you know, you know what I'm saying? Calling her out her name in front of the kids. Mm. The Bible said that was going to happen. The man going to have an evil eye towards his wife as well. Now, what about the children? And toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Which the man going to do what? Which, which he, he shall, shall leave. leave. So this is why a lot of us so-called black people was raised without a father. It's no coincidence you can go to any state. A lot of us don't have a father in the house, so we getting raised by our mother right. or our grandmother, our grandparents. The dad, he's either dead in jail or he didn't want to deal with our mother, so he left. That's a curse. We the only race of people on a high on a high level is raised without a father. Because God said that was gonna happen because we was disobedient. And they make movies off this. You know they got the movies. This is why a lot of our people act the way they act. Cause they had they didn't have a father in the household a lot of our men they act like something they act like something that they not because they didn't have a father in the house the household the man is supposed to the man is the leader of the household he the king of the house the woman gonna follow what he say he supposed to make sure everything is straight but if the man not in the household the order messed up so now the woman got to be the man and the woman and that's confusion going on now the kids you know what i'm saying they don't know they 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 mind everywhere so we got to come back to God, sis. This is the only way we're going to get out of this situation. It's to come back to God and keep his commandments. Because World War Two is on... World War Three. I said two. <laughs> World War Three is on the rise. All right. And let me get let me get something real quick. Let me, uh, give me Leviticus 11. I'm going to give you some laws real quick. I'm going to give you a couple more and I'm going to let you go, sis. I'm going to show you some commandments that we got to keep. Have All you right. ever heard of a dietary law? What's a dietary law? <laughs> Uh, now you got well a dietary law is like a diet basically like certain certain things you can and can't eat right. this is in the bible because like, i don't know if i, I don't know if i said no i ain't say this with you just like america got laws we got laws as well being god's chosen people all right so it's certain meats that we can and can't eat because we're kings and princesses and some of these things can kill us all right give me that letter leviticus 11 verse 7 and the swine swine is another name for pork that bacon that sausage that ham that pepperoni that uh pig feet that uh uh chitlins the bible said he finna speak on that pig what he said and the swine though he divide the hoof and be clover footed yet he shows not the cut he is unclean to you so the bible said that pig is un unclean to us sis so we ain't supposed to be eating bacon you like you like pork all praise all praise see a lot a lot of our people love pork all right they they can't live without bacon. Right. Think about it. Just imagine, see, bacon, the pig is a nasty animal. It's like one of the nastiest animals on this earth. Imagine people eating bacon in the morning, lunch, and dinner. They eat bacon with everything. And they advertise it. They had every new every new burger they come out with is bacon yeah, on it. They, 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 they pull pork. We pull pork. 
Right. Why do we have to eat pork with everything? Like, that's that's madness. Because they want us to die. They know that pork can kill us. Keep going on that. Verse 8. Of their flesh shall you not eat, mm -hmm. and their carcass shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. So we ain't even supposed to touch the dead pig. So now, you eat seafood? Yeah. Okay, so now we finna get some food that's in the water that we can't eat. Because there's certain animals in the water that's bottom feeders and were made to clean the water. Now, I think you kind of know what the is already, but I'm going to read it. Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers. Them shall ye eat. So the Bible said if you eat anything that come out the water, sis, they got to have fins and scales. So what come out the water that don't got fins and scales that we eat at crowd balls, that people eat at crowd balls, and they don't got fins and scales? But our people love cracking them open, dipping in butter, crab legs, shrimp, lobsters. Oh, that stuff we're not supposed to eat because they bottom feeders. They eat everything at the bottom of the water. You open up a crab, you're going to see all type of yellow stuff and trash in it because they ate everything. You say, what? It's nasty. It's nasty. Every single time I start, I was like, what's the stuff in it? don't even see. When you, when, you, when you really look at these animals, these crabs, they look like spiders. All right. You're not supposed to be eating. Would you pick up a roach and throw it into a bucket and cook it? You want to do that? So it's like the same thing when people pick up uh, shrimp. It's the same, they're like in the same family. Okay. Picking up shrimp, cooking it. You eat know, and they make it like they make it like a delicacy. Like you balling when you eat some shrimp. They make you feel like you got money. You go to these little places these, that you gotta pay a lot of money, they got shrimp in there. They make the shrimp look nice. Got got uh leaves around it, trying to make it look nice. But that's a that's a that's an abomination. All right. Right, so, and you a princess, sis, so, so you can't allow certain stuff in your body because that stuff can actually kill you. Right. The reason why as us as so-called black people got high blood pressure and have all... Talk about that. I don't make a trip. It's my food, but it's for that. Yeah. Like, the reason why a lot of our people have high blood pressure and have a lot of things wrong with our bodies because we eating pork. That give you the high blood pressure. Them crabs, that give us high blood pressure. Right. That give us the cancer. The cancer and all that stuff is in the food. We don't, have to go to the, we don't have to go to the hospital and get all them pills and they give us all that medicine to heal us. You just got to eat right. You eat right, that's going to heal you. You had a question? No, I'm listening. I don't listen to that Yeah, I can tell you how to ask. You can have, you go ahead and ask them if you want to say it. Yeah, you, can, okay. sis, you, you sure? can stand over here. There ain't no gnats over here. Okay, okay. Now, give me, um... <laughs> Give me uh, see over there swatting. Yeah, swatting. I'm telling them that. I don't, they, they out here. <laughs> give me Exodus 31. So now I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you two more, and I'm gonna let you go. Well, you got any questions? I'm gonna get into the Sabbath day. Have you ever heard of the Sabbath day? Okay. Let me give me uh, what that is. 31 that you brought up. Yeah. Right. 31. 31. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exodus 31, verse 16. Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generation. For a perpetual covenant, it is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and, re and was refreshed. Right, so that's going into the Sabbath day. What's the other one you said that you brought out the Lord gonna kill you if you don't? It was one you oh, brought 35. out. 30, was 35. That 35? Yeah, 35. 35. So the Bible said that we the, the Sabbath is a perpetual covenant with us. We supposed to keep the Sabbath day. <laughs> we supposed to keep the Sabbath day daily. Every day from generation to generation. Our kids supposed to keep it. Put the we die. Out. They kids supposed to keep What's it. That? When they die, they kids supposed to keep it. All right. So give me that key. Exodus 35, verse 2. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you a holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. Yeah. Right, so the Bible said the Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week. A lot of people think Sunday is the seventh day of the week. But when you look on your calendar, Sunday is the first day of the week. All right. So technically, the seventh day of the week will be Saturday. And that's the Sabbath day. And the Bible said that we're supposed to do no work on that day. Right. So you have a lot of people, you know, working at KFC, Chick-fil-A in there. They stay working. The Bible said we're not supposed to work on this day. It's the day that we're supposed to rest. All right. Yeah, a lot of people choose to rest on Sunday, but you're supposed to rest on Saturday. So um, 
Give me, uh, give me, uh, Nehemiah 10 and 31. So the Sabbath day would technically be the day, sis, and that's the day that we post the rest. And, um, so everything really is supposed to be closed. Now, this is how we know that America don't really listen to God. Or don't, it's say in God we trust. Okay, we are God. I got a question. What's up? Um, uh, hold on. Okay, so I, I get y'all spreading the word and everything. Um, so basically, when y'all spread the word, like when y'all come out, come, come down and spread y'all word and everything. So how y'all come about? Like how do y'all spread it? Like I get y'all telling, telling me, explaining to me what y'all, you know, the commandments and everything. But when somebody comes over here asking, like, who is God and stuff, and just like. Ooh, I'm trying to get my questions out. I'm sorry. Nah, uh, you good. Cause I believe in God too. Okay. okay. Uh, Jesus Christ, I, I get him my word and all that. All that. Yeah. Yeah, no. I got you. I got you. I don't know. I just see. I, I'm, I don't know. I, I just wanted to know. Like, cause I don't. Your, like, are I you don't know how to put it together, but. So you asking how we go about? Yeah. Teaching? Yeah. Like, to my, to my, like, how we go about is yeah. reaching okay. people? Yes. All right, first, with, um, what do you say? Yep, yep, that's a good, yep. Matthew what you 15. Say? Well, really, okay, you're granted out, granted out, you're granted out. Right. I'm in the book of Matthew 15, 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So we ba what we out here doing is we basically on the same mission that Christ was, All right. like Paul was and as the prophets was. What they was doing was they was going out to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which is our people, and telling them to come back. Yeah, bring that too. I'm, I'm bring that, bring that. Matthew 10 and 5. These 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, oh, Go man. not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samar Samarians. Enter ye not, but go rather to the lost, lost sheep, sheep of the house of Israel. Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Saying what? The, the kingdom, kingdom of heaven, heaven is, is at hand. hand. So it's like we was commanded by God to come out here to tell our people who they is. So we got to break it down like that. First, we got to tell our people that they're the Israelites because they don't know they're Israelites. And then we have to prove that by showing in these, these Bible the curses to show that we're the Israelites. And then we have to show some commandments. Because the commandments are what's gonna get us out this captivity. All right. Cause we got in this situation because we didn't keep God's commandments. So we out here to show our people how to keep the commandments to get out this situation. Quick question, right? Cause what color is Jesus? Don't know. Well, we give me give me oh, revelation praise. one. We come out here. We come out here for these but to answer questions like Wake this. Her up. So you know what color skin color he is? Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not mentioned in the Bible. Uh -huh. So. I promise you, they never said what skin color he is. And I'm gonna be real. If you following Jesus Christ, you shouldn't worry about what skin color he is. You should just be following him. You shouldn't at all. So it shouldn't matter what skin color you is why don't it, when why you following it God. But how you gonna know who you follow if you don't know right. who you follow? Because faith. When you have faith, that's how you know you believe in Jesus Christ. But you it's all about it's all about faith. Yeah. But you also okay. gotta know who you're praying to. Why did think about this? I'm finna read something to you and I'm gonna ask you a question. Give me Wake her up. Well, you want this real quick? First John five and ten. Yeah, yeah bring it yeah. up. It's the book of first John five and ten. Bring it out. He that believeth um, on the Son um, of God um. has the witness in himself. He that believeth not God have made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. So we have to believe in the work of we gotta believe in the record that they gave us of Christ. So in order for us to believe in the record, we got to know how he looked. Because we can know how the miracles yeah, that they, he did. They told us like wool hair and all this stuff. They mentioned what he had, but they never said his skin color. Yes, it is. But I'm just, I'm just we, we gonna bring real. It, like, no, we're going to bring it up. how I grew up okay. in, in the church and everything. They said not worry about his skin color. See? Just, just don't worry about it. See, and they, they don't but want to know about it. It's based off faith. No. I feel like anybody who believes in Jesus Christ going to follow him regardless of his skin color. Trying to go to the, okay, okay. Give me Revelation 1. Yep. Go Bring it out. Revelation 1 and 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. He sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. So John finna basically, he's, he's basically finna reveal 
the description of how Christ looks. The John seen it. All right. So John finna show it right now. He finna show or talk about how Christ really looked. All right. Let's go to 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So he was right on that. He got white woolly hair. All right. We the only people that got hair like that. Keep going. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. He got red eyes. Not blue. Not brown. Red. Keep going. And his feet like unto fine brass. So his feet. Now you say it don't describe his color. Now your feet the same color your arms right and your legs and your face. So now it's gonna describe his feet. Keep going. And his feet like <laughs> unto fine, fine brass, brass. As if they, they burn, burn in a they furnace. furnace. So it described his feet like burnt brass. So his feet was dark. So what color was his body? I don't care what color was his body. Sis, come on, sis. Uh, come on. I'm just being real. Read like that. The book of Daniel, 10 and 6. Right. His body also was like the burrow. Right. And his face as the appearance of lightning. And his eyes as lamps of fire. And his feet, his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. Mm. Right. And the voice of his words like like the like the, the voice of a multitude. Right. So it's, he's, it's basically saying the same thing in Revelation. It's like his arms, his feet were like brass. So it's very important to know this, sis, because why would they why would they paint him white? If color didn't matter to them. And then on top of that, it matters because sis, if you pray, who who are you gonna pray to if it don't matter? Think about it. You can have faith all day, but the Bible also says faith without works and dead. So if you have, you know what I'm saying? If you have faith, sis, guess what? We also have to know what color Christ is to know when we pray, we can put him in our head when we pray to him. Nah, that's not true, though. So because if you pray to a white man, you're, you're not, not praying to Jesus. To white, like, because my grandma said when she gave her life to Christ, <laughs> okay. when he came to her, she didn't see no skin color. She seen a bright light, a dim light, just a, just a bright light, just bright light, just, just coming. But she Ooh. may not see one, but John did. Yeah. yeah John. But. You about, you about if I say something? Hey, 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 sis. Now watch this. Now, we ain't disagreeing with grandma. Now, we don't want you to say that grandma this, grandma that, right? We ain't saying nothing against your grandma. Now, watch this. Now, the Bible, it's important, though, right? Now, you believe in the Bible, right? Yeah. Now, you believe that what it said about Christ, what color he was, right? That's this. Watch this. The brother read in the Bible where it says he has woolly texture hair. Now we know that so-called black people have woolly texture hair. So when, now say like this, we know Christ is black, right? If we pray, doesn't it matter that we know who we praying to? Because if we just pray, who are we praying to? If it don't matter. We can say the name of Jesus, but we also have to picture him what he looks like. Because he read in 1 John 5 verse 10, that it matters about what what God left of it, the record that He left of His Son, because if we don't believe that, we're calling Him a liar. So how you feel about that, sir? It's okay. I'll praise. Like I don't know. I feel like I I get y'all like I don't know. I don't know. The reason why I see the reason why you say you don't think it matters because that's what we've been told. All right. We've been told it don't matter what He look like. It don't say what color He is, but it does matter. John would have never look. John would have never described. He was never. He, he he was described twice in the Bible. Twice. Right? Yeah, I know. But why? The images that we see of him is not what we just read. Right. See, that's why you don't believe in none of the images that they give us about God. You, you believe in the Bible, right? Yes. And the Bible said. That he <laughs> Come, on, like God. Like, Come on, sis. Come on, sis. You know what I'm saying? Give me what you got. It's like Matthew 24 and 24. Christ's words. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall shoot forth, I mean, shoot great signs and wonders. Wait, read it from the top again. 24 from the top. For there shall arise false Christs. So you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to arise false Christ. You have people saying, you have people saying they Christ. Seven or eight people saying they Christ. I'm the Messiah. I'm the Messiah. And they, they don't, none of them don't look like the image that was described as Christ. Let's keep going. You about if I say something right quick? So, and then the thing is, so that that was Christ's words, right? Yeah, that's Christ's now watch this, sis. Christ said that it's gonna it's gonna be false Christ. So in order to know what the real Christ look, in order to know what the real Christ look like, does, now it does matter what he what the real Christ look like because he said it's gonna be false Christ. So, you you kind of see that? 
if it's gonna if he warned us and said it's gonna be false Christ, now we have to know what he actually looks like. You a, got it, it is a perfect example, my go ahead, go ahead. A perfect example is you can look up Jesus on the internet. Right. He's gonna pop up first. Right. See, sir. And that's a false Christ. And they also don't want you to know that he's a black man because they if he's a black man, what who are you to Christ? Can that's why in slavery they gave us white Jesus. Right. So they couldn't tell the slaves that Jesus looked like them. Right. So they had to give us a white Jesus, which his name is Caesar Borgia. They painted him to be Christ. To fool you. Right. Also makes sense why they wouldn't allow us to read either. Right. They wouldn't allow us to read see, and write. See, see. Because when you read the Bible, it tells you that Christ was a black man. Right? right. So they didn't want you to read. And I get that. But I feel like, okay, yeah, y'all believe the skin color matter, but I feel like y'all more so idolizing his skin color versus just saying he's Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and that's who we should be going to. It doesn't matter his skin color. It doesn't matter. It, it just doesn't matter because it shows his description. You're learning about who Jesus is, and it's all about your face. Let me ask you a question, mm. right? So, James. Yeah, yeah, James. Yeah. yeah so, get that. all right. Think about this. So, color don't matter, right? Think about this. We know what Michael Jordan achieved in our in our life in our lifetime. <laughs> the, the championships that he won and things like that. So, just imagine if they paid a white. They paid two 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 hundred or two thousand years from now. They whitewashed Michael Jordan. They give all the achievements to a white man. Our kids right. growing up thinking Michael Jordan's a white man. Hey, right. Michael Jordan, he jumped from the free throw line. They got his hair blonde. He got long <laughs> hair now, right? He gets his skin pale. Not everybody think he's white. Right. But then somebody be like, somebody do the research and be like, no, he was a black man. Michael right. Jordan was a black man. And then people like, dang, I thought he was white. But the whole time he was a black man. So that's technically would be a lie. So if they saying he's a white man, that's a lie. See, and that's what the world, that's why the world is so corrupt and you go based off the Bible. You don't sit right here and listen to where everybody's saying. Like the pictures and stuff, I was taught don't don't look at them pictures. Just just focus on who God is in the Bible and what he's telling you to do and follow him. What he wants you to do? He want me to listen to his word. Okay. All right. That's all right. Come bring it up. Matthew 10 and 34. Christ's words. What he say? God, Jesus Christ said, come as you are. Come as, come as you are to him. No, no. That's what the Bible say too. You come as you are. And he will help you. He will help you. Do you mean by come as you are in the sense of stay the way you are? Because the, the pastor say come as you are in the church and he don't tell you to change. No, I'm not. I'm saying that like, when you're coming to Jesus Christ and you're repenting for your sins and all that stuff, you're coming as you are because he's going to help you. He's going to help you cleanse to get rid of all the sins that you have committed so you can. Me. Tell him John 9 31. Ooh, I can't find it. I see what you're saying. Like yeah. I see what you're saying. But when the pastor say come as you are, they won't. They okay. allow a homosexual to come in the church yeah, okay. and let him stay okay. a homosexual. Okay. That's the churches. That's what, that's what they that's say the, come as you are. That's though. the churches, though. <laughs> come as you are. Friend, this is uh, Jeremiah this is this, 14 see. and 10. Thus said the Lord unto this people. Thus have they loved to wander. They have not refrained their feet. Therefore, the Lord doth not accept them. Mm. He will now remember their iniquity and visit their sins. Right. So that's going into our, our people is in wickedness. The Lord is he's not going to accept them. Right. And that's true. He's not going to accept you if you're not willing to change. Right. If you're not right. showing that effort, like faith, you, you got to have the works and all that stuff. Not all like doing something good. Like, oh, you dropped some. Oh, that's good works. No. You have to show that you're trying, being that word, pray, okay, fast, okay. right, all okay. right. We're gonna, okay. we're, gonna, we're gonna get some of the work. We're gonna, we're gonna get some of the work that we're supposed to do. Okay. I said the crab, the shrimp, lobster. That was one work that we're not supposed to do. Yo, I'm okay. Get that 12 and there we Ecclesiastes go. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion, the conclusion of, of the whole matter. matter. Fear, Fear God, God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So the whole duty of us is to fear God and keep His commandments. So this is why we out here teaching our people some commandments that we got to keep because that's the works right. the works is keeping the commandments of god because give me no matter of fact give me john james, james or john uh john 9 james, hey first james john two and three. james sue james sue with, that, with the faiths and the words because uh, a lot of people out here saying they love god but they don't keep no commandments right. the bible called them liars all right con the first book of first john two and three and verse two and here not verse three and hereby we do, we do know that, that we, we know, know him, him. If, if we keep 
man. Stay focused. That's how Satan works. Right. Uh, he he wanna believe us too. He doing his work. He just listening. But you believe in the Bible, brother? Yes. Yeah, believe in the Bible, brother? Come have a conversation with us. Wow. See. That's how you know he. I mean, what's his nationality? Is his, is his says, father a black man? Say so you'll know them by their fruits. Yeah. But this is the nah, book of First John. Me, I know him. He be in his word every day. Now, he made sure. See what the Bible says. First John three and four. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. So this is how we know that we know God if we keep his commandments. Proverbs thirty one said, "You can't judge nobody." Oh, All right. Watch this. Say it. Say it. Right. Righteous judgment, see? Right. Get that. Proverbs 31. Yeah, Proverbs. Yeah. Keep, keep going on that. We go back. We go to it. Verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keep it not his commandments, is a liar. So he said, if you say that you know God and don't keep his commandments, you are a liar. Right. So then why we still got to keep the commandments? The Bible called people liars. And if he read the word every day, why don't why you don't want to come discuss the Bible? Right. If you if you truly it's, it's the word is flaming inside you. If somebody is teaching the Bible, you don't want to be like, he coming back. The Lord may have sent him back. Yeah, everybody sent him back. <laughs> right when you said that, that's how the Lord worked. Uh, Brent, uh, what, what you got? What's that? What you, what's that? Uh, oh, Judge Righteously. Yeah. Proverbs Pro 31 well, she 9. Probably, she might have texted him. Yeah. Proverbs. <laughs> she probably did. <laughs> she probably did. She, she probably did. <laughs> Proverbs 31 and uh, verse 9. Open thy mouth. Judge righteously. Read it again. What? Judge uh, righteously. So, so the Bible says, keep going. Open <laughs> thy mouth. mouth. Judge, judge right. So the Bible said, "Open your mouth and judge." What's up, brother? Hey, we, hey, it's all love, man. We ain't, we ain't trying to. Oh, okay. Oh, she bailed out. <laughs> Since you got to keep the commandments in these last days. Look, wait, look, get on there, bro. That's crazy. Use them as a crutch to get up out of here, man. That's crazy. That's our people. That's our people crazy. don't want to hear the word. That's crazy. She got the religious spirit in there too. Yeah, yeah. she do. What's that? Um, um, but not, God, not yeah, a God. Yeah. 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 The Isaiah 15. She got the zeal, but it's like she. Dang, it's, it's the other come on, way. sis. Dang. It's like she got. They got a zeal, but not, not. What is according it? Not, 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 not according to knowledge, knowledge or something knowledge. like so that. Like, and, and that's what's wrong. And that's why we're trying to break that mindset of Christianity off bro, our bro, people, bro. It's bro. witchcraft. She kept throwing up grandma. Hey, hey. Kept saying about her grandma. About hey, grandma. It was witch. Hey, it's witchcraft. See. Grandma, see, yeah. grandma was in them slave fields. Yeah. <laughs> grandma got taught that from the white man. Yeah. And then yeah. look, now look, watch this now. Brother, he finna go over there, talk sweet doctrines to her. Yeah. Finna lying tell her, hey, yeah, don't believe. Hey, sis. Speak, let us speak as the oracles of God. Hey, sis, what the, you got two minutes. You believe in the Bible? Huh? You got two minutes. No, I'm hungry. Wow. So we, got, we got some food. We got some food over there. We got the living word. I don't want that shit. Wow. Wow. Come on, sis. Come on, the sis. The Bible said two thirds of Israel <laughs> gonna get put to No, the Bible said every idle word. Right. Let me get that math. The Lord 12, gonna thirty six. Yeah. That's man, that is, that's the, that's the she first time I ever heard something like that, man. Matthew. She said she'd rather go eat. Man, that's when that, that's why that famine gonna be so crucial right. in that day, cause they ain't gonna be able to eat. The book of Matthew 12 and 36, Yahweh Shai. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they so shall give account, account the thereof in the day of judgment. Right. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and, and by, by thy words, words thou shalt be, be condemned. condemned. Right, man. So the Bible says every idle word. That's why as men of the Lord, women of the Lord, <laughs> we got to watch what we say. <laughs> Brother got in the corner over there. He's probably sweet talking to him. Hey, yeah. I love everybody. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. what color. It don't it's matter. What, what it don't matter, brother. Yeah. As long as you repent, brother. Yeah. You can be wicked. It's, you can be wicked. Wicked as, as hell. And wicked. Then you can get a chance to you make can it. still you make, it. To make it. That's that's our people. And this is why people people don't understand why we attack Christianity so much. Why y'all always coming at Christianity? Because that's a stronghold. Very hypocritical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a brother. She brother. She literally just said <laughs> she said she believed in yeah. nothing. She believed in the Bible, but did not. But she's well, she's counteracting. Yeah. Look at that. Look at hey, that. Hey, very hypocritical. These people draw. Nine to me with their mouth, yeah, but well, their heart is far yeah, from it. She was feeling. She yeah. all she kept saying was feeling. I feel. I feel. I feel. I feel. That I feel. Yeah. That's that I feel. Dots. Let me get what this what you pulled. Saying? Let me get this what you pulled to James. James chapter two. Yeah, bring that out. Verse number twenty four. You see then how that by works, works a man is justified, and, and not by faith, faith only. Right, man. So not by faith only. You gotta have works, and that's what I was telling her before she left. How y'all doing? Hey, so let me ask you a question. Why you are, you don't believe in the Bible? Come talk to her. Come on, sis. We ain't Christian. We don't believe in. We don't believe in. We don't believe in white people. Oh, I don't believe. 
Sis, take a car, sis. Come on, sis. Take, take a car, sis. Take a car. Come on, take a car. Come on, take a car. All phrase. We out here telling our people that we. Hey, matter of fact, tell them verse of the day. Verse of can the day, pop. Can I give you a verse of the day? Sis, verse of the day. Verse of the day. Verse of the All day. phrase. Give me. Oh, what you got, Matthew? What? 19 to 16. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it up. Oh, praise. We're going to scoot over real quick. We're going to scoot over for the sister. We ain't preaching with Christian. Y'all ain't got to run, man. Hey, y'all not what? We're not preaching Christianity. What are y'all preaching? We're teaching the truth of the Bible. We are here to let our people know that we're God's chosen people, right. we're Israelites. Because Christianity, they teach. What, let me ask y'all, what's y'all nationality of y'all race? What they, what they, when you fill out a job application, what you put as your race? African-American, right? <laughs> but if you look at African-American, that came out in 1987. Right. Jesse Jackson was the first person to say, we're going to call ourselves African-American. Because we were black, we was colored, we was niggas. But God never called us none of these things. All right. He called us the Israelites, which are God's chosen people. And it's something that we must do being his chosen people. Quick, let me ask y'all, what color y'all think Jesus is? I'll say he's white. He's not white. He's not white, right? Look at the brother jacket. It says the real description of Christ. Now we finna get that, get that real quick. Let me, that's the, let me get that. Yeah, that's because cool. Christ was a black man. All that's right. what we had to tell our people the truth that our history is written in this Bible. All right. The white man stole this book from us and started teaching it to us how he wanted us to. to know. Come up. That's why he didn't want us to read and write in slavery. All right. But when you read this Bible for yourself, you will see that this is black history. All right. But our history is more than 28 days in February. <laughs> for, they gave you black history month, and then right. after that, you're done. That's you're all done. your history. That's it. Our history is American history because we built this country. Right, right but bring that up. Con, the book of Revelation 1 to 14. His head and his hairs were white like blue, as white as snow. So it's going into Christ's hair. His real name is Yahweh Shah. Right. He say his hair, when he when he read this, look at this jacket. His head was his head. We call him Yahweh though. Yahweh. That's his real name in the Paleo Hebrew. Some people say Yahweh because his name ain't God. God is just a title. Yeah. Yeah, because for one, the J in the Bible. Oh, was praise. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't. Well, it wasn't uh, the J. It wasn't. Well, yeah, it's it a wasn't new letter. Yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah. So how can the name be Jesus? Yeah, I know. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep going. She know. Yeah. She I don't know. know. Don't see. We see? just trying to help. Right. Come on, see, yeah. see. It's all love. His head and his hairs were oh, white like wool. So yeah, white woolly hair. I woolly hair is like the texture of a sheep. All right. The afro, when she take her braids off, her hair gonna be what? <laughs> right. It's gonna be like, you see what I'm saying? Keep going. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So he had red eyes. He ain't had no blue eyes that, you know, you know, white people have blue eyes and stuff like that. But Christ didn't have no blue eyes. So he had red eyes. All right. Keep going. My mama would love this, actually. My mother would love this. Hey, show, hey, show, send, send her that YouTube. Send, send, send her that actually, YouTube. Actually, I really will. Actually, I'm, I'm about to call her. I'll, I'll oh, praise. praise. I'll praise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, because Bible basically just means basic instruction before leaving earth. So this Bible shows you basically how to live while you're on this earth. Right. And the reason why we got Christianity and all these branches that branch off Christianity is because the, the enemy had our book. And he was teaching it to us the wrong way. That's right. He was telling us stuff that wasn't in his Bible. Perfect example, Jesus or Christ was a white man. He wasn't white. But why is the image of white Jesus in every church? Right. In our grandma house is white Jesus. The Bible don't say that, but keep going. And his feet like a fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So it describe his feet. Ain't y'all feet the same color y'all arm, y'all face? The Bible said his feet was like brass. Now what's brass? I'll show y'all an example on my bracelet. It's like the color of brass. And it says as if it burnt in a furnace. So if I burn this, what color is gonna turn? Not white, right? <laughs> not white. Exactly. It's not right. gonna be white. It's, right. gonna be, it's gonna get dark. All right. So, Christ, Yahweh Shah, he was a black man. That's right. And it's very important for us to know this because if he's a black man, what color is his people? His people would be what? If he black, what color is his uncles, his cousins, his nieces? Black. And we're right. trying to tell, we'll see y'all understand. We're trying to, we was up here for the longest trying to tell a sister this year, like, color don't matter. Yeah. It don't matter what color it is. It does matter because why they change this, why he a whole white man now if color didn't matter. Mm -hmm. the, the, the enemy, the oppressor, know that color matter. But he wants us to think color don't matter so we can just accept white Jesus and pray to white Jesus. Which, that's not the truth. Yeah. Amos 3 and 1. Hear the word, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, 
you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So out of all the races of people that you have on this earth, the Chinese people, the Japanese people, the East Indians, the Arab people, the white people, he said out of all the families of the earth, what he said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So we the only people that the Most High God pay attention to. This is why we getting punished and going through so much hell as so-called black people is because we're not listening to God right now. So he put a curse on us. 2015 real quick. 2015. He put a curse on us real quick. He put a curse on us. So now we at the bottom of society. Call in the book of Deuteronomy 28, 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So basically what happened was the Israelites, right? Our, hey, we made a covenant with God. I promise. He said, if you keep my commandments, you're going to prosper. If you don't keep my commandments, you're going to be punished. And our forefathers and foremothers, they said, we're going to keep your commandments, God. And he like, okay. And we made a covenant with him. We didn't keep that promise. We disobeyed him. So we get in the we get in the, uh, the flip side of it, which is of curses. And I'm gonna read some to you to show that we the only people that fit these curses in this Bible. The Chinese man don't, the Arab man don't, the uh, East Indian man don't. We're the only people that fit these curses of this Bible, which prove that we the Israelites. Get 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So he said, the Israelites, y'all from generation to generation, y'all gonna be cursed in the cities. So if y'all don't mind me asking, where y'all from? Atlanta, Alabama. Alabama, right? So, what people are in the hoods in Atlanta and Alabama? Black people, Black people right? All right? What people are marching? Our lives matter. Give us our rights. Black people. What people are getting shot down in the streets by the police? Black people. Black people. The Bible said that the Israelites they're gonna be cursed in the cities. All right. So this is why we live so poor. We the only people that say, let's go to the trial. You don't hear no white folks, no white boys talking about, let's go to the trap, John. Or Chinese people saying, let's go to the trap, Lean Lean. You ain't hearing that. All right. We the only people that saying, let's go to the bando. Right. Now, what he said after cursing the city? Cursed shall thou be in the field. So he said, we also going to be cursed in the fields. So if you look at, if you think about history, what people was ever in the fields? Slaves. Us. This is why. But if you look at the blessed side, if you look at the other side of the cur I mean, other side of the coin, it said you're going to be cursed in the cities and cursed in the field. But we didn't listen to God, so we got the other side of it. You're going to be uh, cursed in the city and cursed in the field. Give me one more. Give me 48. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this other, get this last curse. 48. Ah, this is, it's last, and it, when, I, when I read this, check this out on YouTube. 68. Uh, 48. 48. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So, so here go another curse that was going to happen to our people. We, we going through this to this day. He said, you're going to have to serve your enemies in hunger. So what's y'all favorite food spot? All right, King, go on. What? Anywhere they got wings. Yeah, same, yeah, same, anywhere. same. Anywhere <laughs> they got wings. Anywhere they got wings. American Deli. Wingstop. Wingstop. So what people own them places? What race people? White people. White people. Because the Bible said when you hungry, you have to go to your enemies for, and for food. So we don't own Zaxby's, we don't own KFC, we don't own Chick-fil-A, we don't own none of these places because we because we have to go to our enemies now. Back then they used to have to, they used to, have to come to us for stuff. Now we spend money with, they, with the slave master face on it, giving back to them. So he said, hunger, what did he say? And in thirst. And in thirst, what y'all like to drink? Juice, what type of juice? Cranberry juice. Mini-made, I like mini All right. What people own Gatorade? Do, some white right. What about what about Pepsi? Uh, some white pump. Sprite. Right. It is. But would y'all say this is a curse to have to pay for a water bill? Like, why are we paying for water? It don't make sense. And this also this also <laughs> show you that we still we still damn slaves. Right. Just because we don't got chains around our neck, and we have to go pay taxes to the white, we don't have no black owned banks. 
It's given to a white person. That's what the Bible. You said even the house. You don't really own that house. They, if you miss a the payment, figure, they can literally. If, if if they really don't like you, they can literally cut your credit card without even. If even if they don't like, even if they don't like what's surrounding your house, if you got too much stuff outside. Facts. They want to take it. I thought it was my house though. Yeah. I thought this was my oh, car. They, they'll give you a fine. Talk they about clean it up or yeah. we gonna take yeah. your house. Yeah. yeah. On yeah. the house that's supposed to be mine. Paying taxes. Paying taxes. But they wanted to be free from paying taxes. Yeah. Exactly. Come on now. He said we're gonna be we're gonna we're gonna have to go to them and thirst. What if he said? And in nakedness. And in nakedness, our clothes. Oh, Even though we some shoes. of us have black owned businesses though, who we pay our tax they still making money off our businesses. They can stop our business at any time. Yeah. Half of these buildings that we um we have businesses in, we don't really own it. We rent it out most of the time. He said we gonna have to go to them for clothes. We don't own Jordan. Shit, Jordan don't even own Jordan. Not the own Jordan. <laughs> right. Kanye don't own Yeezys. Adidas own Yeezys. We don't own uh uh Aeropostale. We don't own none of that stuff. So the Bible said when you have want clothes on your back, you have to go to them because you didn't keep my commandments. Read on. And in one of all things. And in one of all things. You want to leave this country, you can't just get up and leave. You got to have a passport if you're trying to fly. If you want an education, you got to go to them. If you want that new iPhone, that's you got to go. That's the problem right there. That's the, the problem. education right there. See what I'm saying? We're trying to stop teaching us our history already. Exactly. We should have to pay all this money to go to school. All right. So shouldn't. This is an this is HBCU. Why, why am I giving you 16K? That's what I'm saying. Everybody like, they make money. You know why people go to HBCU for free? What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they get a scholarship they, they and stuff like that. It's, it's like the opposite That's if a black hurt. person went but, to. But uh, uh, any <laughs> school we go to, PWI, HBCU, we have to pay. But white people, they go here for free. That's see, why you see these white people. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know, it's free. funny, even though that, it's that makes HBCU, sense. the white people still own the school. They can shut it down if they pass the law. Like yeah. In Mississippi, there's three HBCU schools that might shut down because of a law that they're thinking about passing. Mm -hmm. These white folks out here jitting us now. They, they getting us, and, and they, they got a 400-year head start on us. This is why they got to pay 400 years. years. Oh, it's starting to rain. I felt some of them head. Oh, here we go, sis. Mm -hmm. right, we're going to let y'all go. We're going to let y'all go. Y'all right, be safe. Yeah, hey, check it to the, hey, check check it to the YouTube. Your I got it. I'm all praise, all praise. That's just a little. That's just a little. Let me see if I can reach them if I can't. I'm, uh, they still over there. That's yeah. my, nigga, my word. Yeah. My word. Come over here. <laughs> see, I want to touch on that real quick. So, that brother right there. Hopefully, he ain't. Yeah, he's supposed to be speaking as the oracles of God. He's supposed to be speaking as the oracles of God. This is what, this is what I'm saying, man. See, give me uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. And I, I rock up on this. Hebrews okay. 4 and 12. And, you know, and he kind of, that's kind of Satan, man. We're about to find some shit. She, he took her away from the world. He's like, she right? finna come back. Yep, she yeah, is. She gonna come back. He done, he done indoctrinated her. That's the Christian church. He, he done gave her a couple scriptures. <laughs> he done gave her a book of scriptures. Why not? He come over. He the man. He gonna send a woman over here. No, no, no. Yeah, she nah. coming back. What's yep. That? Come on back, sis. Hebrews 4 and Look at Hila Adultery. The word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. <laughs> so that word is even to the divided Thanks. asunder of soul and spirit. So, right, so that word, that, that, that Bible is sharp. That Bible will cut you. It will slice you to death. Wow. Man. She it said, no, sis, come on. No, man. Y'all need to start doing that. Doing what? Doing what? Hey, sis, now what if I told you that? No, hey, no, hey, no, oh, no, hey, no, oh, no, you, no, hey, no. oh, you mind if I hop in this right quick? Okay, bro, switch over. Yeah, look, let, let me, let me hop in this, game. Nah, no, I ain't even, that, I, I ain't even, man, I'm gonna go back and forth with this. Now, we ain't, now, we ain't gonna argue about the Bible, okay? No, now, watch, not. now, watch this. Now, did you know that Christ, he dealt with bloodlines and, and nationalities? Did you no, know that? Listen to, listen to this. What, what does faith mean to y'all? Tell okay. me this. No, 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 no. Without the Bible. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. No, like, I'm asking y'all a question no. now. So tell me what faith means. Right. Okay. No, 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 no. no. What is the definition hold up, brother, of hold up, faith? Hold up, brother. Hold up, brother. I got you. Just like, no, just like, no, real life situations. Like, when you, when you doing a test or something, okay? 
you go based off faith. I got you. Bro. That you're going to pass that I, test. I got you, bro. You have to put in the work. Right. I got you, bro. Exactly. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. But, With Jesus Christ, okay. you don't got to worry about, like, you don't got to worry about what's the questions on the test. See, you're just going to practice. What? Now, see, I got a question. Now watch mm -hmm. this. I let you. I let you speak. Now watch this. Now can can no, I? No, I ain't let me speak at all. All right, go, go ahead. ahead. Go no, ahead. it's okay. Keep talking. Right, nah, nah, Tell me what you're gonna say. Okay. Tell me what you're gonna so say. So watch this, sis. Now the Bible says that we was to answer somebody anytime. We have to answer with the Bible. Yeah, that's that's the, because exactly. if we speak our own words, that's dangerous. It, it doesn't right. matter what we do. Now it's James. Now like, give me the book of James because as you walked off, the brother was trying to read you this because we trying to get you to. You can have faith all day. But what, now let me ask you a question. What if I have faith, but I'm living in sin? I know, that's not what I'm saying though. Talk that's what, that's, what not, that's not what y'all hearing. All right, so what go I'm ahead, saying. I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead, my bad. But it's okay. No, I'm saying something. Nah, it's okay. Go ahead. It's okay. It's okay. No, I'm just, I'm just saying like, cause. You feel like, you feel like this, like we, we, we Y'all, kind of y'all too. Going too Worrying deep. about, nah, ain't, ain't no deep stuff at all. Because when you gonna spread the word, you gonna spread the word, no matter how deep it is. I'm just saying, like, y'all come on, y'all, y'all make these posters. I don't see not one Jesus, Jesus is King. You, you need to pray Jesus I mean, name, Jesus name. That's it. Not I, no Israelis. Not, on, not since. Not I agree. Not not watch this. Now watch this. Did you know that Christ said that these things? Did you know that that Christ spoke on these things? Yes, Christ, yes, Christ is king. Yes, he is. He is Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Yes, we agree with that. But sis, did you know that he said that you need to repent? Did you know that he said famines are coming? Did you know that he spoke about this? Did you know that that, that, that he spoke about the Israelites? Yeah, I even I didn't know that until hearing about it. Exactly. So sis, we don't teach none of that other. We teach the truth about the Bible. Now watch this. Now let me answer this for you. I got two scriptures for you and you tell me what this means. Yeah. And I'm going to get after when I get this next one, you tell me what it means, sis. Okay. Just listen, sis. Go ahead. Y'all have a blessed night. Sis, y'all. come on. Listen. It's okay. Listen, sis. Yeah. One scripture. Listen. Uh, it's okay. Read it out loud for I, I heard enough. Read James, it out loud for James 2 verse 24. You see Christianity, man. That that's by is... works, that man is justified and not by faith only. So, sis, works is keeping the commandments. You can't just have faith saying, I believe in Jesus Christ, if we're not doing what Jesus Christ told us to do. That's being very hypocritical to the scripture, sis. Come back, sis. Come also, back. Also, if you really think about it, if you did read the Old Testament, you would know from Abraham to another bloodline Isaac. Yep. Isaac. That you would know that he would have the chosen people anyway. But, <laughs> so, so, Brother on so fire, man. Drop the car, sis. And Esau, and, um, take that wish. Esau, 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 Jacob. Jacob. And Jacob. Now, Jacob sis, got that now, now, sis, we, I'm not trying to argue with you. I love you, sis. And you actually, you actually know a little bit about this Bible, right? But guess what? The thing is, what I'm trying to tell you is I get what you're saying. But guess what? We can have faith all day. And yes, this, and yes but if we don't have works. Let me read you this one. Matthew 7, verse 21. Let me show you because this is what's gonna happen on the day of judgment. Now, I'm listening, now I want you to listen to this and I want you to tell me what this means. Uh, the book of Matthew 7 and 21, Christ's words. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So the Lord is saying, not, what's your name? Aaliyah. I hear it? Aaliyah. Aaliyah, right? He's saying, Aaliyah, not everybody that says to me, Lord, Lord, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Why don't we got signs to say Jesus, 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 right? He said, not everybody that say to me, Lord, Lord, is going to what? Enter into the kingdom of heaven. Read. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Now, guess what? Now, I'm supposed to ask you, what's the will of God? Y'all tell me. Y'all supposed to According to Psalms 40, verse 8, the will of God is keeping the commandments because that's the works. You, we, we have faith, yes, in Jesus, right? We believe that, yes, he is the Lord and all that, but we also have works by us setting these things out in Matthew 22 verse 9 says go out into the highway and byway that's what we're doing right now because we're doing works right read verse 22 many will say to me in that day Lord Lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works so the Lord saying it's gonna be a lot of people in that day Aaliyah guess what Lord Lord Heaven, I, in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus, I cast out this devil. I send this devil out in the name of Jesus, right? Guess what he gonna tell them? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. I what? I never knew you. 
Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So why is he gonna tell people now, depart from me, ye that work iniquity? What does that mean, Aaliyah? Watch this. He's gonna tell people to depart from them. They had faith all day, but doing the works, because faith without works is dead, sis. So guess what? On the day of judgment, he's gonna tell a lot of people to depart from me. Why? Because they don't have works. Why? Because they don't know him. Because if I was to ask you, how do you know the Most High and how do you know Jesus, his son, according to the Bible? How do you know them? How do we actually prove that we that we know him? It's okay to say you don't know, sis. It's all good. It's what we out here to, we out yeah, here to teach. Out here. Sis, he ain't saying that in no type of disrespect. No, no. Wait, sis. I ain't taking it in no disrespect. We trying to get well, off of the kingdom. Okay, so you just listening. Now, get me First John 2, verse 3 right quick. I'm going to show you how do you actually know God. Because the Bible leads us all these things, right? Con, the book of First John 5 and 3. But this is the love. 2, 2, oh, verse two, 3. 2 and 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. So sis, he said we know God if we keep his commandments. That's all he's requiring of us to do is keep the commandments out of the faith, right? Now watch this. This is what he tells people that say that they know him. Because Sister Leah, you would say that you know him, right? You would say you know him, right? Now we ain't talking about you. We just gonna say somebody else to say that they know him, but they don't keep his commandments. What does he say? He that saith I know him. And keep it not his commandments. It's a lie. So God calls anybody that say that you know me and you walk by my ways and you're not keeping my commandments, he calls them a liar. Now can I show you a commandment that you probably didn't know? Give me Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Watch this, see? Because they, I'm, a, I'm just going to say, because my grandma didn't show me this scripture. Did your grandma show you this? Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Now hold up for you to read that. It's the Old Testament done away with. No. Is it done away with, Sister Leah? Mm -hmm. It's the Old Testament done away with. Wait, what you mean? Like, you know, like there's the Old Testament and there's a the New Testament. Yeah, the New Testament is for us. Okay, it's the Old Testament done away with. It's no, that was for the past and future. Hold, hold up, brother. Hold up, hold up. I got you. I got you. No, 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 no. It's the. It's no, the, I, was, I was listening to him. No. I was going to say oh. the Old Testament and the New Testament are the same thing. Because exactly. as he said, Paul's letters were to the Gentiles, which is us as Israelites. And also, mm -hmm. Jesus said that he here to keep the commandments and laws right. of the Old Testament. So, just like he was saying, sis, now I'm going to ask you one more time. Now, we got the New Testament, right? And we got the Old Testament. It's the Old Testament done away with. Keep going. All right. Going, so, Matthew. give me Matthew 5, verse 7 right quick. Because every, sis, now, come on now, just listen to me. Hear me out. Because everybody says that the Old Testament is done away with. If the Old Testament is done away with, then why is the New Testament requoting things from the Old Testament? Why is the Old Testament quoting things from the New Testament? Because it's the whole book of the law. It's not done away with. The pastor says that it's done away with, so you don't ever find out that you are an Israelite. God's chosen people. That is true. Most, That's, even when I went to Catholic school at a certain time, they didn't tell me that. So the reason why they say the Old Testament is done away with, because our history is in the Old Testament. You'll find out who you are. So listen to this, sis. Don't walk off, sis. Listen. Hey. See? Read out loud for it. Book of Matthew. Wow. Five, verse 17, Christ's word. Think the spirit versus the flesh. Come to destroy the law. So, or the prophets. so sis, Christ saying, don't think that I come to destroy the Old Testament or the prophets. Damn. The book of Revelation, 14, verse 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So we keep the commandments, sis, and the faith. That's the works. You can't say that you know Jesus Christ and you love him if you're not keeping his commandments. That's very hypocritical. And you a beautiful sister, and we love you. You got to keep these commandments in the last days, man. Hey. That's a, that's a, that's a, that, 